Hi everyone, it's Dave from Pro Tools Answers. So uh, recently we did a video on how to use things like commit and, and freeze. And one of our community members uh, sent us over a, a phenomenal little workflow reminding us how we can use the some of the committing features to speed up uh, our workflow with transferring in audio to Melodyne. And this was, I thought I'd just show you this because this is a really ingenious way of, uh, of transferring into Melodyne very, very, very quickly. So we've got a vocal track here and I'm going to stick Melodyne on my first insert. And I'm going to hit transfer as we normally do. And at this point, what we would do is we'd hit play, um, go and make a cup of tea, and then Pro Tools would transfer all of the vocal audio um, into Melodyne ready for editing. But we can do this really quickly. If we right click on the Melodyne plugin and we use the commit feature and we commit up to this insert, that's going to open up the commit tracks to insert box and we're just going to deselect everything because even though we're going to be committing and what typically happen is um, the commit would create us a new track with a new uh, a new audio file we don't want any of that all we want is just to use the commit engine uh, to rent to play back Pro Tools at a, a very high speed. So we're just going to say commit the track. We're going to deselect de everything else. Um, we don't want anything to happen to the original tracks. So we're going to select do nothing to the source track and we're going to keep it offline uh, so that we can do it in real time, uh, in non real time. I'm going to click OK and watch what happens. So there we go, we've got a very quick transfer of our audio into Melodyne. Um, it does create us another track because that's what the commit feature does, but we're just going to delete that. We don't want anything to do with it. Um, committing up to this insert, um, that particular option, <laughs> I can actually select it. Um, all that it does is it just commits the audio up to the particular plugin that you select. It doesn't go beyond that, uh, so it doesn't do anything to the original plugins. I mean, we told Pro Tools not to do anything uh, to the uh, original source track anyway, so it wasn't going to touch any of this. Um, so there we go. We have all of our audio transferred quickly into Pro Tools. All of our original signal flow is, is in there. Really nice way of doing it. Thank you so much for that suggestion.